and happy Wednesday. Thank you so much for tuning in and for choosing to spend some of your time with me. I'm Maria Milagros, and this is a little space that I like to carve out on the World Wide Web to share little nuggets, tools, techniques, stories, anecdotes, whatever it takes, in order to help us, you and me both, get to those next levels of healthier and happier because we are deserving and worthy already. And part of the work is about us being intentional about creating changes and shifts in our lives in order to head to those directions of healthier and happier. Rather than waiting for other people to be different or do something differently in order for us to give ourselves what we deserve new levels of health and happiness, we take responsibility for ourselves in every area of our lives, and then we take action in that direction in order to create, again, change, momentum, shifts, movement, right? So these um, past couple of weeks, we've been doing a series called Tips to Get You to Healthier and Happier. It's a a little video series. I like to keep them really short, one tip per video, and this week is no different. So this week, I wanna talk about the importance of celebrating ourselves. There's this song by Lady Gaga, and um, it came on today after I was done teaching classes at the gym. I sometimes have music on while I'm cleaning up. You know, I do that. I know you, a lot of you do too. So I put music on while I'm cleaning up, or maybe I want to like do another exercise or something. So I'll have music on in the background. And there's this song by Lady Gaga where she's like, I live for the applause, applause, applause. I live for the applause, applause, live for the applause, applause, live for the way that you cheer and scream for me, right? So I'm listening to this and I was thinking, I have been thinking about celebrations anyways and lately working with my clients, one of the things that I remind them to do is to acknowledge the small wins so that they're constantly feeling like they're fulfilled, like, oh, I'm doing stuff. Because a lot of times we can go through a day and do a thousand things and because we didn't do maybe the one or two things that we really thought we should, we undermine how much we got done and then we beat ourselves up and we don't feel like we've accomplished anything or we don't feel like we fulfilled anything. And that's just not real, right? So I want us to remind ourselves that we have permission to celebrate the wins, the big wins, but especially the small ones, because life is really made of all that small magic that happens all the time to keep us functional, to keep us healthy, to keep us going. A lot of times people will wait until they have like the big win. They graduated from that program, and that is definitely reason to celebrate. But what about the thousands of times you fed yourself to keep yourself sustained to do the work? What about every time you sat down and cracked your book open when you didn't want to, or logged on when you were exhausted and you got it done? What about all the times that you took care of your body so that you could have the energy to do the work? Right? So like, I want us to start thinking about the little things that we're always doing all the time that help sustain us and keep us going so that we can achieve the big wins. Because the reality is that when we do that, when we celebrate the small victories along the way, the big win is that much more delicious because we've been honoring and practicing celebration. So when we get there, we are well-practiced, we're well-ready, and we are like excited about getting into the celebration, right? And it doesn't have to be, like, I don't throw myself a party every time I load the dishwasher, (laughs) or do I? No, I don't. I don't throw myself a party, but I do give myself a high five. And I've been saying this for years. Give yourself a high five. In the song that Lady Gaga says, I live for the applause, I live for the way that you chair and scream for me. Why can't I be the one who cheers and screams for me? right? I I keep saying cheer. I meant cheer. (laughs) Um, The way that you cheer and scream for me, I'm going to be my best cheerleader. Because again, if I am dependent on other people to cheer me on or to applaud for me or to scream for me, I could be waiting a long time. So instead, I'm going to let everybody else off the hook. You're welcome. And I'm going to go ahead and cheer for myself. I'm going to go ahead and applaud myself. I'm going to go ahead and give myself the high five. One of the things that I've been doing for years when I teach fitness is at the very end of our classes, we give ourselves a hug because we deserve our love first and foremost. And it's just a way to like, ooh, this feels so nice. It's just a way to like honor our bodies. And then we put one hand up and we give ourselves a high five because you did something amazing. You got out of bed, victory. You got dressed, victory. You drove to the gym, victory. You took a class, victory. And it doesn't have to be that specific example. There are literally hundreds of examples in your life all the time where you can give yourself room and the opportunity to celebrate your victories because, damn it, you deserve it. 
You deserve it. And you're not waiting for me or anybody else to celebrate you, but for you to celebrate you. I, I'm not kidding. When I load the dishwasher, I do a little high five. Or maybe I do a little, hey, she loaded the dishwasher, right? And at first, I remember when my daughter was little, this was not a thing because I did it all the time. But, you know, she hit those, like, weird teenage years. And then she'd be like, oh, my gosh, mom, you're so weird. But then she made her bed and she did a dance. I'm like, are you dancing? She's like, yeah, I just made my bed. Oh, right? Yes. Uh, we teach by example. It's our most powerful teaching tool is by example. And she felt so good from making her bed and gave herself the opportunity to celebrate that. Right? So let's find the little ways to celebrate life. Let's find the little nuggets and the little things and the little opportunities and the little blessings and the little, like, it seems mundane, but you did a thing. You did it. You accomplished the thing and all those small things add up to the big things. So let's, that's your tip for this week. Let's celebrate ourselves for the little things, especially, and for the big things. And then maybe we could celebrate each other for the little things. Like, girl, I saw you do that push up. Go ahead now. They look at you like, oh my God, I do that to people. And then they look at me like startled because they can't believe that I'm, you know, celebrating them for one push up. But I'm like, one push up today, two push ups tomorrow, right? And like, that's how we build. It's from the little things. Ooh, so good. So good. I live for the applause, the applause that I give myself. A couple of quick ways that we can celebrate ourselves give yourself a high five, give someone else a high five or maybe not because of COVID. I don't know your jam. Um, do a little dance. It's That's my favorite thing to do. I do a little dance. Uh, clap, like applaud yourself. After I finish a proposal, if I'm g giving a talk and then I send out the proposal or like my invoice or whatever, I'm like, good job, Maria, you did that. I really do. Ask my daughter. I, I'm not gonna apologize for who I am. And here's the reality. It might seem crazy or it might seem ridiculous or it might seem silly, but I'm so happy. I'm so happy because I give myself the opportunity to acknowledge the little things. And then the other bonus is that when I do that, I find that I'm faster to forgive myself if I miss something or like, oh, I didn't get that thing done today. That's okay. Cause I did these other thousand things and I'll get to that tomorrow. I'll put that on my list for tomorrow. Right? So I just want us to get better practice at celebrating ourselves. Um, another way is that you can share your celebration with someone else, like text a friend and say, I just did this thing. I'm so excited. And of course, make sure that it's someone who's going to celebrate and be excited with you. And then, um, one of my clients, she started doing the celebration system for herself, which is brilliant. And I asked her if she, if I could share it and she said yes. And it's basically, she gives herself these like little points. And you know, for every day that she works out for 30 minutes, she gives herself like a little point. I am, I personally cannot keep track of a point system. I just got too much going on. But for her, this works. And she likes the way that this feels like positive reinforcement for her. So she gives herself these little points. And then at the end of the week, based on how many points she has, it's like this many points equals this. This many points equals manicure. This many points, right? So that might also be a fun way that you can continue to celebrate yourself and honor yourself. And it's a great way to self-care, to reward yourself for your self-care, right? Because on top of the fact that you feel good, you might know that those points might add up to a mani or a petty or both. I don't know your jam. You work it out for you. Let me know how you celebrate and put in the comments a little thing, like a little teeny tiny thing that you have done, I don't care how silly or ridiculous it sounds, I'm gonna celebrate with you, that you have done, that you celebrate yourself for. That's it. I love you so much, there's nothing you can do about it, and I'll see you next week. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you know someone who can benefit from it, please share it. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. Subscribe! Okay, I'll see you next week. Peace!